All right, fuckers and fuckheads. Now, I had this Yankee woman this morning. She didn't know how to change her own damn brake lever, so in case there's any other dumbass Yankees out there, first thing, this is a 87 Yamaha FZR1000, but they're all pretty much the same. And what I just did here is I loosened up this little nut. I'm going to undo this Phillips screw without turning that nut no more. Probably do a better job of turning that sucker out of there with a Phillips, and I just happen to have my impact driver right here. Alright, now, I'll put this bitch in the new one. And all I'm going to do is tighten it down to that nut. That way the adjustment's going to be the same. And whatever this bike was comfortable with before, that adjustment will still be there awful fucking close. Yeah, that, that damn Yankee woman she asked me this morning, was everybody from the South ignorant and apathetic? And, uh, I told her, hell, I don't know, and I don't give a shit neither. But, uh, you know, she's talking about, you know, the Yankees won the war, well, me personally, I, I, I think that uh, they just got too lazy to keep on fighting it. They just think they won. You know, I notice all the big guns is here in the south. All right, now that nut's set. Just tighten that nut. Bingo, I don't have to reset my gun. Now I need that same 10 millimeter wrench that I just threw down. Flip that over. You don't need no special Allen tools to do this. Yes, I know I have them. I love the shit out of using them, but you don't need them to do this. You can use a regular damn Allen wrench and a regular damn 10 millimeter wrench. I actually prefer these regular 10 millimeters on shit like this versus my gear wrenches. Somebody had commented the other day, Oh man, ain't you never heard of a ratchet wrench? Yeah, I've heard of ratchet wrenches, but um, for the purpose of these videos, I'm trying to show people how to do shit with what they have, and the average person doesn't have all these fancy gear wrenches I've got. So I use the normal ones for these videos. That Yankee lady this morning, she's talking about, you know, Southerners don't count. Well, told her, you know, yeah, we count. We learn how to count when we're little kids. One kill a Yankee, two kill a Yankee, three kill a Yankee, four kill a Yankee, five kill a Yankee. Pretty sure by the time she left, she didn't know if I was serious or joking. That's half the fun of living in Florida. You get to mess with them Yankees. Come on. I hate it when they put them right up against the damn master cylinder like that. Come on. Okay, so now being that this is a Yamaha, be careful when you pull that shit out, there's a little spring there. That's what trips your damn brake light switch. 
There's a bushing in here. Push that sucker out. Go on ahead and put it in your new one. You go to put this in, put your spring in there. Look at your hole up there, make sure the motherfucker's lining up. Now, if I can get lucky, I got lucky, she went in. I love this damn little tool here. You get these from Snap-on. It's about the handiest damn thing. I like that better than a regular ratchet because a regular ratchet tear up your fingers doing this shit. This makes it nice and easy. I think he only charged me 30 or 40 bucks for that thing. I've replaced it three or four times, so definitely got my money's worth out of it. That's snug. That's it. That's all you do. Just snug. Nothing more. Now you find your nut that you took off and you inspect it. That is a nylock. And it's in good shape. Okay, boom, lever's been changed and the adjustment's still where it was and that fucking set of brakes needs to be bled. Now, come over on the clutch side. You can see that clutch lever doesn't really need to be replaced. However, that clutch lever, like me, is an ugly motherfucker. See all that paint's peeled off? Mm -hmm. Nice, pretty new one. I like this. So we're going to replace it anyway. just doing this one really to just in case there's somebody that's got that double you know fuck up on them you know that double stupid they don't eat some Yankee pills and their Democratic Party member but this should be simple enough I believe even a Democratic Party member can change their own damn levers um, you know and that woman coming in this morning her being female is no damn excuse as far as I'm concerned you know Hell, my daughter can change out one fucking bolt. Well, and a little spring. There we go, that puppy's out of there. Slides out, okay? And then it slides in. See right there in that hole? And then you go like that and you push that motherfucker in. And you go back up in here and look, you make sure it's aimed into the master like it's supposed to be. Stick your bolt down, and then you worry about lining up your hole.
Spin that chucker on down. Put your nut on from the bottom. By the way, for reference, the lady that came in, she had an FJ. This is an FZ. She had about an 84 and 85 FJ 1200. This is an FZR 1000, but the master cylinders are the same, the levers are the same. And no, she ain't running nothing stock. I think the last time her bike was stock was about two seconds after it left the showroom floor. But uh, she's one of them. She's got the prettiest bike. Uh, fucking clutch master needs to be bled out. Oh no, hell. I don't even have a line hooked up for the damn clutch. I don't need to be bled out yet. It will, but not right yet. All right. I'll let y'all fuckers and fuckettes later. Now even the dumbest of the fucking Yankees and possibly, maybe, hopefully, the smartest of the Democratic Party members ought to know how to change a goddamn brake and clutch lever. I'll let y'all fuckers and fuckheads later.